Sir Scallywag and the Deadly Dragon Poo by Giles Andrea and Corky Paul. There lived a king in ancient times who wasn't very brave. He didn't look for knights to joust or damsels he could save. And instead of fighting battles and performing daring feats, King Colin simply lay in bed and guzzled loads of sweets. He couldn't get enough of them and neither could his queen. So they spent their kingdom's fortune on a giant sweet machine. The king, the queen and all their knights grew lazy and grew fat. Well, all except Sir Scallywag will soon come on to that. For in a castle dark and cold, a rumour reached the ear. Of the fearsome, barren, greedy guts, what's this, he said, I hear. A great big giant sweet machine, oh what a prize to own. I'm going to have to capture it and bring it to my home. I'll hatch a really evil plan, yes this is what I'll do. I'll bomb King Colin's castle with some stinky dragon poo. As it happened, Baron Greedy Guts kept dragons as his pets. He fed them rotten cabbages and guess what happened next? A rumbling and a grumbling sound began inside their tums and soon the foulest dragon poo came gurgling from their bums. <coughs> Quick fetch the giant catapults, the baron cried with glee. I'm starving, don't you know, and I want sweeties for my tea. So soon a great bombardment of King Colin had begun and all his useless knights could do was turn their heads and run. Oh, crikey, crikey, King Colin, yikes, I don't know what to do. My castle's disappearing under piles of dragon poo. There's only one of all my knights who might just save the day. Oh, help us, brave Sir Scallywag. Oh, help us, please, I pray. The six-year-old Sir Scallywag appeared with sword in hand. I'm here for you, O oh King, he said. Your wish is my command. Oh, scallywag, King Colin cried, whatever can be done. Why is that meanie greedy guts bombarding us with dumb? I'll go and find out what I can, said scallywag, you'll see. I'm always up for challenges, so please leave this with me. He beckoned to his trusty steed, come doofus through the gates. We're going to spy on greedy guts and find out what awaits. Old Greedy Guts was pacing up and down his castle wall. This dragon poo's so stinky that they'll have no strength at all. They'll be gagging, they'll be choking. No, they'll never want to fight. So let's invade King Colin's castle. Let's invade tonight. So Scallywag came charging back and told the king this news. But I've got a cunning plan, he said. Quick, scoop up all those poos. Let everyone get buckets, come on, fast as you can be. Then fill them up to bursting and deliver them to me. The knights all did as they were told, he wouldn't let them stop until they'd made a mountain out of squelchy dragon plop. Sir so Scallywag then stuck his sword in Colin's sweet machine. He waggled it around until the thing began to steam. It whistled word and juddered, then it gave a great kick. I think that's it, said Scallywag. Yes, that should do the trick. Now all we have to do, my friends, is just sit back and wait. I know it won't be long before the Baron's at our gate. And sure enough, as night time fell, King Colin heard the sound of a hundred knights in armour thundering across the ground. Now steady, whispered Scallywag. Wait till you see their eyes. That greedy guts and all his knights are in for a surprise. Attack the mellow greedy guts, let no one here go free. Now where's that famous sweet machine? It's coming home with me. It's here, replied Sir Scallywag, if this is what you mean. But I've changed it from a sweetie to a giant poo machine. With that he pulled the lever and the thing began to hum. Then from the spout there shot a giant jet of dragon dung. It hit the startled greedy guts right in his pudgy face and soon a sea of dragon poo was surging through the place. Take that you stinky poo for brain, Sir Scallywag then said as he aimed another splurge of dung at greedy guts' head. Sir 
scallywag kept firing until all the knights were gone. They were blasted from the kingdom by the goofy, sludgy bomb. You saved us, cried King Colin. Oh, scallywag, hurrah! Is there something we can do to show how grateful we all are? Well, since you asked, said Sir Scallywag, there's one little chore. Command those lazy knights to tidy up this castle floor. And while they're at it, could you please go fetch some nails and wood? Just one last change to this machine would do you all some good. He sawed and screwed and hammered. Look, I'll fix this in a trice. Ta-da! A brand new shiny five-star exercise device. Now on you get, you lazy oaf. Start peddling full speed. An army that is fighting fit is, is what we really need. And now King Colin and his men, yes, even the Queen, are the toughest, strongest knights at arms the kingdom's ever seen. And at the very thought of sweets, King Colin now just screams. He never eats a single one except for in his dreams. So boys and girls, remember this, whatever else you do. If you can't stop eating sweets, just please watch out for dragon poo.